Wala po akong masyadong experience. Nagsasalita at hindi rin naman ako tumitingin sa tao. Hindi niya rin po ako napansin. Thank you for sharing your experiences. Maraming salamat. For our next question, we have Bobby Ricantina of Manila Bulletin. Nandang hapon po. Kay Derek Bulletin. Derek, we all know sa Romcom, importante ang chemistry, ano? So how would you describe your chemistry ni lang ni Kaili and Paolo? Ano yung nakiyan yung sa kanilang dalawang na bagay sa kanilang dalawang? Well, so beyond their past friendship and working together, parehong pro kasi si Paolo and Kaili. And then, When we did the processes of the workshops, uh, script reading, they always give input on the character. So, yung professionalism nandun, so spot on. So, imimili ko kung nagkakasundo kayo sa trabaho, makes other things easier. Tapos, nung nasa Singapore na kami, wala na, there's no divaness in both of them. So, parang swabe na, tapos dap, I mean, despite how they look, sobrang down to earth itong dalawa na to. I mean, like, normal people sila, so sobrang awkward. So, We got, everyone got along. Chemistry was there, so... I actually didn't feel like work, working in Singapore. I didn't. There's no traffic, eh. No joke. Okay. Release. From my last one, Kylie and Paolo. Okay. We all know we're not perfect in the world, but if you were given a choice, a perfect career or a perfect partner? Oh! It's hard. Ang hirap yan. Ako sumagat una. Ako, perfect partner. Diyan yung asawa ko eh. Yes! Okay. Um, siguro pero sa akin, perfect partner. Dahil kapag nahanap mo yung perfect partner mo, parang ano eh, mas decidido ka to drive parang everything in your, in your career or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I think perfect partner. I would choose uh, a perfect partner because a perfect partner wouldn't stop you from pursuing a perfect career. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. That was Bobby Ricantina of Manila Bulletin. For our next question, please do stand by for our next batch. Nurse Alma of GMA7 Entertainment, Bernard Santos of My Movie World, Miss Astra Moy of TikTok, PM and Inside Showbiz, Ms. Dali Ann Carvajal of Inquirer, Erwin Ogawa of Anong Ganap, Mark Rabinor of Entertainment Web, and Mylene De Leon of TV5, Signal Entertainment, and Pop Life. Our next question will be coming from Nurse Alma of GMA7 Entertainment. Hello, thank you. Um, for Derek Philip, um, how is it like um, um, directing them inside an elevator? Marami ba talagang um, scenes or doon sa doon ng mga Actually, ano, um, the elevator scenes, uh, knowing the limitations given the space, and ano, we it, gumawa kami ng set for it to make things easy, easier and to make the coverage kakaiba. I mean, yung the attempt to, para, para hindi limited yung camera and placement and movement. So, okay naman. I mean, I think it's the same way also. They, uh, the, their process is the same way they shoot. Uh, maybe some scenes in international na uh, ayun talaga, binabak kailangan baklasin yung mga ibang sites para mas mapaganda yung angulo and in some cases makapag 360. So, ganun po. Actually, what we didn't, there were only a few scenes that were shot inside an actual elevator and that was in Singapore. But the actual set itself, we had six different elevator sets para maka shoot si Derek and So many different angles. So Especially, lalo na yung mga intimate, mas parang intimate or more serious moments between Jared and Bettina. Parang I, the set really helped to cover it properly and to direct it properly. Okay, uh, for Kylie and Paolo, tumatak sa akin yung linya ni Kylie dun sa Oops, na kaya sa Oops, bawal kang may ilaw sa akin. May time ba na na-experience siya na yun and how, paano niya na-overcome na or di ginawa ko. Pinasabi ko yung lalaki. Oops! Gawin lang sa akin. Siguro yun sa ibang paraan. Kylie, ladies first. Feeling ko kapag friend, 
kapag kapag friend and then gusto mo lang yan ng boundaries already pwede mo yung pwede mo yung sabihin or or actually kapag workmates no so yun um sa akin parang never ko pa naman po na experience uh, kasi uh, hindi na po umaabot doon parang diretso na po binabasted ako or <laughs> hindi na po siya umaabot sa sinasabing bawal mo in love pero um, uh, ako ay respect uh, ma ma malaki po yung pangunawa ko yung respeto ko sa mga tao na uh, tulad ng sabi ni Kylie um, gusto mag-set ng boundaries um, yan po Thank you. Thank you, that was Nurse Amo of Jimmy7 Entertainment. Up next, we have Bernard Santos of My Movie World. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my first question is for Kylie and Paolo. So since you have a lot of people who have almost uh, the same thing, for Paolo, you've done um, several rom-coms or love stories before about uh, Kylie about a woman empowerment. What makes this film different with others in terms of um, doing the characterization on this mm. um, How this differs from the other characters I portrayed, si Bettina, very modern Filipina woman. So, imbis na sabihin natin yung gusto kong tulungan yung pamilya ko or gusto ko makaangat yung pamilya ko from, from sa hirap, si Bettina, yung gusto niya sa buhay, she wants to be her best self. Gusto niya to, let's say, to start her own business. Gusto niya makawala from a bad relationship. She wants, she, gusto niya self-actualization yung goal niya. And for me, iba yung different, yung movie nito, it talks about different topics. For example, anong mas kipiliin mo? Yung love or yung money? What if may pumasok sa buhay mo na, may, na mahal mo, maghihinder ba siya sa career mo, sa success? So, it talks about topics like that. Uh, sa akin naman po, uh, 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 I've done several, I uh, a couple of rom-coms or comedy, or mga mag, mag, ilan-ilan na mga comedy na pelikula. Pero, um, I think this is different because, well, first of all, the character is uh, different. And uh, second, siguro, it's more than a rom-com. I feel like it's, it's, uh, I don't know, rom-com, rom-com man natin may na-market. Parang angan kasi mas inspirational siya, mas, yeah. mas uh, feel good dahil um, yung mga in-betweens na nangyayari sa, sa mga uh, kababayan natin na nagtatrabaho abroad, parang dito nakikita rin paano sila makasalamuha sa mga uh, ibang lahi na ibang lahi na katrabaho nila and parang um, yeah parang it's an, it's uh, it's it's something that would inspire you uh, not just for your career but also parang sa outlook mo in life to to add to what Paolo ano uh, say about it the movie being more than a rom com kasi highlighted din yung camaraderie ng character ni Paolo sa mga katrabaho niya na iba't ibang lahi hindi lang Pilipino si kaya hindi na yung karakter. May mga katrabaho din na ano. So, bukod kaya lagi yun yung parang central conflict ng movie, love or money, kasi pareho silang na, na dun sa na, uh, parang nagsisipag lang is the anthem of the ano, the, 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 the for the migrant workers. So, so, bukod sa love, nandun yung ano yung camaraderie nga. So, making it I guess more than a rom, just a rom-com. Okay. You, uh, for my second question, since the movie is part about uh, office romance, kaya ba personally, uh, would you like to have a partner na same with your um, field or someone na outside na sa work? I don't think the movie is about an office romance. Hindi kami workmates, pero we met each other inside an elevator. So, hindi kami workmates. Um, I am personally I would want someone um, not in the same industry as I am. Pili ko mas marami akong tutulong sa iba. And um, para din maiba because showbiz is a very public industry. 
Um, if given the chance, um, I think siguro okay lang din na parang hindi in the same industry. Pero parang napapaisip nga ako ngayon siguro pag <laughs> pag uh, you're, you own a small business and parang may parang yung mga kaibigan rin kasi ako ganun. Parang sila mag-asaway na kahandle ng business. Parang sarap rin siguro. Parang iisip ka, oy mahal. O, ikaw na ngayon. <laughs> uh, hand in hand yung yung ano. So, um, malaki yung respeto ko sa mga taong kaya nila yung ganun. Pero, um, maybe personally, if given the chance, uh, siguro uh, not in the same. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Bernard Santos of My Movie World. For our next question, we have Ms. Astor Moy of TikTok, Kim, and Inside Showbiz. Good afternoon. Sa inyong tatlo. Una muna kay Direk. Hi, Pao. Hi. Uh, una muna kay Direk. Direk, um, you are more of a writer than a director. Mas marami kong nasulat kayo yes. sa pag-direk. Um, given the choice, saan ka mas, uh, saan ka mas, uh, Mas, saan mas fulfilling para sa'yo? Writing or directing? Shoot, sige. Kakaisip ko lang nito. Uh, number, so, yun. But technically, newbie pala ako na director. So, this being my second feature. But I have like, uh, I have Lino and Shugo behind me who always guide and support. So, that gives me confidence to do it. Um, yung directing kasi, parang pangarap ko na siya, college pa lang ako. Tapos yung writing, I thought, was a stepping stone to becoming a director. But as I've written so much, mahal na mahal ko yung pagsulat kasi it's just you. Parang na-appreciate talaga yung part na kini-figure out mo yung problema na ikaw lang yung kwento. Uh, on the flip side though, just because it's you all the time, medyo malungkot magsulat. Dali na kung may deadline ka na, hindi mo matapos. Tapos yun naman yung na-appreciate ko dun sa pag-direct kasi you are constantly working with great actors, my great producers, as example, Charm and uh, Mary Maximo over there. So you always get to collab with, you know, so it makes it less a less painful uh, part of the craft. So I guess I love both. Depende lang siguro kung na-figure out kami from them or hindi at this time, kung ano yung mas masaya. Thank you, Derek. Um, hey, Pao. Pao, I, I watched you in 2012. But, uh, Napaka-hosay mo doon. Doon kita una talagang hinangaan as an actor. And then of course, si Kylie, I think the housemaid, was the best uh, acting uh, na pinakita mo. Um, uh, after doing those uh, projects, nagkakaroon ba kayo na parang nagiging choosy ba kayo pagdating sa mga proyektong tatanggapin nyo? Um, ako po, hindi naman po dahil choosy ako, pero naghahanap po lagi ako ng proyekto na kakaiba na uh, as much as possible, ayoko pong mahulma sa isang genre. Parang I, I, I like doing different characters and parang yun po lagi yung pinagbabasihan ko ng, ng, ng proyekto. Uh, Kung baga, hindi po, hindi po baling mag-audition ako. Uh, ginawa ko po yun sa mga tatlong pelikula na nagawa ko na nag-audition po talaga ako para sa sa role. Um, dahil uh, yun po yung yun po yung nag nagpapa-excite sa akin para para gumawa ay para ma, para magtrabaho uh, kapag kakaiba ko or, or may bago akong pwedeng ibigay sa karakter na hindi ko po po nagagawa at hindi pa nakikita ng mga tao. Thank you. Kai. Ako naman po um I, I've always been very careful with the projects I choose. Probably earlier on in my career that, that wasn't an option for me. But now I am given the opportunity to choose and I'm so, so grateful. Um, gaya po na sinabi ni Paolo, ayoko din makamon sa isang genre or sa isang character na kaya kong gawin. So, and especially like this movie na my, there are lessons to be learned. It makes you think. It's a very special movie. There's my my matutunan ka sa movie. So yun yung mga projects na hinahanap ko. Something meaning and something fulfilling 
as a person and as an actor? As actors kasi, di ba, meron kayong uh, parang dream project. Ano yun? At saka, meron din kayong gusto mga trabaho. Sino yun? Sa inyo na um, para sa parang ang dream project ko po talaga, gumawa po ng ano, eh, malaking sci-fi na pelikula. Parang uh, alam ko po mahirap, mahirap gawin dito sa Pilipinas dahil kapag gagawa po ng isang malaking sci-fi na pelikula, budget po lagi yung nagiging problema. Pero uh, yun po, yun po ang pangarap kong gawin pelikula. Ay, parang harap kong magawang pelikula. At uh, sa katrabaho naman po, um, Hindi naman po, hindi po maaarte sa katrabaho, basta may, basta may disiplina lang po sa set. Uh, sino ba? Sino ba po ito? Si Kim na naman. <laughs> Why not? Well, gusto ko naman yung working uh, kung paano magtrabaho sa ito. Uh, sino ba? Sino ba po ito? Ah, oh. Siguro, uh, one is uh, maybe Catherine. Parang I see, uh, parang she's trying to transition into uh, more mature roles, and I think, uh, parang baka, baka maging bagay ako sa ibang proyekto magawa niya in the future. Si Kylie naman. makita ko kasi iba-iba iba-ibang culture, iba-ibang acting style ang nagdadala ng bawat actor yung from the tone to the pace to the yung bilis niya so I want to try working with um, international actors like like si Adrian Pan well, Adrian Pang in a uh, place my boyfriend here in the uh, elevator. So it was actually amazing dahil ang galing niya. Uh, ako, I usually take time to get into the scene. Siya, agad -agad, he's there, he's very loose, he's very quick, he's very fluid. And uh, your point nga na you learn something new from working with people not just here in the Philippines. Yeah, so it was... Um, Amazing to work with uh, mga batikan na actors. And the, yun din yung gusto ko. Gusto ko na mas mature sa akin, mas magaling sa akin na actors yung mga coward ko. Thank you and good luck. Salamat mo. Thank you. Thank you. That was Ms. Aster Moy of TikTok, PM and Inside Showbiz. Up next, we have Ms. Dolly Ann Carvajal of Inquirer. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, for the rec, Philip, uh, I am here. Um, the trailer the trailer is very interesting because it's not the usual OFW film about domestic helpers or caregivers. So uh, if you would give your movie a tagline, what would it be? The, ano, the, the one ano, sa love or sa life. Go, sa, the one on the poster. Sa love ah. or sa life, going up or going down. Ah, right. uh, so parang yun yung best encapsulation. And yes, love or money. Perfect din siya. Parang ako iba yung song ano? that. Ang isa kong tagline, may ikat na po kasing ginamit dito na rap. Uh, yung parang, lang, uh, parang araw, parang para sa akin gusto ko, araw-araw sipag lang. Parang mas nakaka-inspire siya. Uh, for Kylie and uh, Paolo, uh, what struck me sa trailer, yung line ni Kylie na, we grew our money more than our love. Did I get that right? Uh, so in relationships sa uh, tunay na buhay, uh, how important is money in a uh, love relationship? Or emotional investment ba or financial investment? How much is it for a relationship? Um, parang it's a mix of both. Um, but uh, we grew our money more than our love. Ako po kasi parang, ano eh, parang hindi po ako Hindi po ako... 
Sorry, no, wala. No, um, sorry, what is the question for again? This is a relation. So if you draft importance of money or the finances, it's a relation. Right, on a scale of one to five. Oh, okay. Number one. I think it's in the middle, it's three. Uh, because uh, choosing the right partner also, but you have to know where the finances go. You have to, especially, uh, you need to budget uh, week, uh, to fix, uh, to, to save, and maybe maybe uh, for your kids, if you have kids. But, but I think it's in the middle, it's three. Because it's important to budget and to, to save for the rainy days. I, for me, it it is an important part, but it's not the most important part of a relationship. I mean, it, it would be nice kung bilang babae, feeling ko, no matter how much you earn, you should always keep something for yourself. But um, you don't rely on a guy to sustain you. So, kahit no, no map. Because it's my conceptualization tayo na parang okay, for a girl to umasens to the boy, magpakasal ka na lang ng mayaman. Para sa akin, have still earn something for yourself. Parang always have that pain slip. Because maganda din na you have something for yourself. You earn. It, it doesn't matter how much you earn, but it's something for yourself and in the end yun lang yung meron sa'yo what you have what you believe in or oh, align yun sa movie what you have what you believe in yourself kasi what if iniwan ka ng tao ano mangyayari sa'yo so just pagbutihan mo yung career mo yung finance mo yung sarili mo so alagaan mo lang yung sarili uh, sarili mo thank you Thank you, that was Ms. Dolian Perbahal of Inquirer. For our next question, we have Erwin Ogawa of Anugana. Hi guys, uh, congrats on your movie. Uh, speaking of elevator, meron ba kayong na-experience na o oh, napapansin na elevator actions made by other people na na-annoy kayo? For example, si Ms. Sinyet or uh, whatever. Pinagawa na mga... Uh, ako, say, ako, sa, nung COVID time, yung nag-aalis ng mass elevator, of all the times and places to do that, don't do it in the elevator. Yeah. Ako, gusto ko, gusto ko kasi tahimik sa elevator, eh. hindi ako, hindi ko gusto yung masyadong maingay. So, parang respect din to other people in the elevator. So, kung nga rin may usapan kayo ng friends, yung huwag masyadong Maingay. That's that's just my personal thing. Ako, same kay Kylie. Parang, uh, si, uh, yun lang. Yun. Parang, uh, sa elevator kasi parang there's always, may mga ibang taong kasabay lagi. So, konting hinay-hinay lang sa tono ng boses. Yung mga nagsiselfie ng mga fans sa ele elevator, yung mga gano'n. <laughs> ah, sa akin, wala naman pong kasi yun. Basta ko sa elevator with someone who wants to take a picture. Basta ko sa elevator. I would never say no to a photo. Kasi fan din ako ng ibang tao. And kapag nag-no sila sa akin, parang ma-hurt ako. So, so sinabi ko sa sarili ko na never ako mag-no sa mga photo. Uh, next question. So, elevator as parang simbolisin ng ups and downs, di ba? So, what do you do during ups and downs of your life? Uh, me, uh, when I'm up, I share it with my wife and my family and what my work base in Rain Entertainment and I know. So when I'm down, I'll ko sa asawa ko, console, console, she'll console me over a beer, ganyan. So you see some more normal things. Uh, ako naman po, during my ups, I try, I, I try my best to keep myself grounded and remember how I started, where I came from, and yung mga struggles ko sa buhay na nagdala sa akin. And when I'm down, parang, ako po kasi parang I always self-assess. Minsan, I feel like, or it's not, uh, hindi ko naman sinasabi para sa lahat ng tao, but uh, when you self-reflect in, in isolation, parang mas naiintindihan mo yung mga 
mga bagay na kailangan mong baguhin at mga mali mong nagagawa sa buhay. When when I'm up, I try to savor the moment, but just, parang, just as Paolo said, I try to keep myself grounded. Hindi ko siya nilalagay sa ulo ko because I know there's another day or there's another, there's, there's so many days more ahead. Um, when I'm down, I also try to assess And I try to remember my ups also. Pero, siguro with like proper planning and execution, you'll get back up again. Okay guys, nandak sa movie. Thank you, that was Erwin Ogawa of Anong Kanak. Up next, we have Mark Gravador of Entertainment Web. Good afternoon, everyone. For a direct video, direct, medyo maghirap din yung nagtalaga ko po ang mag-shoot outside the family. How is it fast? May kong kasi po sa inyo na ayos na ito present? Yes. Na ang sili ko na ibinti mo na na hindi rin nagigilan yung kapitid yung challenge. Well, ano, so kudos to my rain team nga. Charm Guzman and Mary Maximo, along with Dino Kenan. We worked with Dogma Films, isa production company sa Singapore. Nakakaibigan nila through Sanjay Reve. So okay, maayos lahat. It was, naging madali siya kasi we planned and planned and planned again for it. Tapos, yun nga, to add to the hard work and process we did. Dito pa lang, we did all our workshops. So going there, run and gun na talaga. So hindi, hindi siya actually naging, hindi talaga siya naging mahirap as you would think. Para maayos yun, the team was on point, everything was parang best shoot of my life, I, I would say. For the last question na lang, for Kylie, kung babalikan mo yung beauty uh, pageant mo before, at makakausap mo yung sarili mo, uh, ano yung congratulations mo sa akin? Ngayon, uh, na nagka-umara ka na saan na nakapailang pinigila ka namin, Congratulations. Marami ka pang pagdadaanan. And enjoy the journey. Life is going to be beautiful for you. There are going to be ups and downs, like an elevator. And pero madadaanan ba din lahat ng mga mahihirap and um, life will go on. Mahirap na nga akin. Baka may iyak ako. <laughs> uh, sa akin naman, ano, uh, siguro for someone who started na walang idea dito sa mundong to, walang idea sa pag-arte, uh, at hanggang ngayon ako culture shock pa rin ako sa industriya natin. <laughs> Siguro masasabi ko lang siguro sa sarili ko ng time na yun na ano, uh, you'll survive. <laughs> no, makakayanan, makakayanan mo yung mga nangyayari sa buhay mo at sa career mo. Salamat. Congratulations. Thank you. That was Mark Gravador of Entertainment Web. Up next, we have Mylene De Leon of TV5, Signal Entertainment and Pop Live. Hi, Janet. We used to work at ABS. It's nice to see you again. Hello. What's your background ulit? Ano yung mga nagawa na sulat mo, na-direct mo sa ABS? Na, syempre, titingan nyo naman. Kasi nag-direct ka na rin ngayon. Kasi, you were writing natin. Oh, I was, uh, so, quick background. So, nag-actually, nag-start off ako ABS. Cameraman ako, AFP. Kasi eventually, uh, naging segment producer writer for mga Uh, ASAP, ganyan, and then yun na, Dreamscape started their uh, telenovelas. Yung mga nasulat ko, actually, uh, sana may ulit muli ni Kim, ganyan. May bukas pa na, pinagdaanan din. Jade. Bas, so, sobrang dami, parang 15 years there. So yung mga prime time soaps talaga under Dreamscape. Thank you. Thank you. And for Paolo Lain Kain, for, kanyari, sa mga relationships niyo with Your special someone. Kung hindi mo pa siya relationship, nasa elevator ka, nasa anong floor na siya, nasa ground pa lang ba? Nasa gitna? Or nasa penthouse ka? Paolo. Kunyari kayo, nasa special someone. Nasa na
But we know she's special to you. Uh, ako, kung nasan, kasi bebe, parang ako nasa, ano eh, nasa basement five. Ba't ko ba ba? Nasa basement five. Uh, yun lang. Hindi talaga ako magaling sa mga ganang bagay at mga ganitong bagay. Lampas git na. Um, oh. We don't... Basta happy ako. <laughs> Basta sabi. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your questions. That was my name, the Leon of TV5, Signal Entertainment and Pop Life. Up next, we have Sri Luigi Aziz of People's Journal. Okay, ano po na kayo direct? Uh, direct, yung, yung, uh, because, ano, sa Singapore, ginawa yung movie, was it deliberate na para gusto nyo yung e-feel or e-market sa international market? Like, uh, pwede yung dalis sa Netflix or anything? Ah, of course, of course. Siyempre, like with any project naman, you want it to reach its maximum potential and ano kung saan siya makakarating. Tapos particularly, yun, given the story nga na uh, sa Singapore siya sinu, uh, may intention din na sana mag-theatrical nga siya and for audiences to experience it in the cinema. But actually, yung aspect ratio nga po namin, wider siya to capture the sites of Singapore, vis-a-vis -vis yung uh, restrictions ng karakter sila inside the elevator. So may ganun siyang intention to make it an inter uh, international movie, may experience in the box office, just to make it a more worthwhile experience for our audiences. Thank you, Derek. Para sa dalawang cast, um, kanina nabanggit nyo yung, ano, yung collaboration with uh, mga international actors, uh, pero yung nabanggit lang ni Kylie was Adrian Pang. Uh, wala bang iba, like Henry Golding, no? yung mga talaga international. Malay natin, baka lumabas si Henry Golding. <laughs> Pero we had um, uh, um, a lot of uh, cast, ay, a lot of um, yeah, cast members na kinas talaga nila sa Singapore. Yes. Uh, as uh, direct mentioned earlier, we're also partnered with the Dogma Films. So, so sila Rishi, may sila, sila Bobby, ganyan. Actually, mar marami sila. Mahirap na kayo pronouncing yung mga names. <laughs> Kasi ganun ka international yung ano. So, but ano, you'll see when you get to see the film, so you'll dive into a different culture through the other characters. So it's gonna be, parang ano siya, magiging bago para sa ating mga Filipino to see. Like, the, the food and the way their camaraderie is built despite the differences in culture. Okay. Noon tag tayo sa, ano, sa Hollywood, uh, sila yung mga dream uh, pull-out na naiisip. Like, especially si uh, Paolo na, alam natin, one of the best actors in the country. Hollywood part. Siguro, ano eh, di ko, di ko alam kung maaarte pa rin po siya ngayon. Sino yan? Uh, pero si... Uh, ah, wait. Nasa dulo ng dila ko pa yung pangalan. Uh, Daniel Day Lewis. Ah, Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. Pero hindi na hindi siya masyadong nag Nag-retire na po yata. Pero yeah. ang napalitan ko po, parang inaawitan pang bumalik pala. Yes, yeah, so, may umaawit na yun. Okay, si Kylie. Baka mayroon siyang Hollywood actor na dream. Dream boat. Yung sabi ni si Chris Hemsworth. But aside from Chris Hemsworth, of course, I would love to work with him. Pero mga idol ko po kasi sina Margot Robbie. Uh, okay. Zendaya, Zendaya, Kate uh, Blanchett, wow. um, one of the uh, Rachel, Rachel McAdams, I think she's a very mm -hmm. um, uh, diverse okay. actress. Mm -hmm. um, Florence Pugh is good also. Yeah, very good. I love Sydney Sweeney now. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, 
few others. Jacob Elordi for the guy. <laughs> Ang dami naman, isa lang yun. Isa lang yung dapat eh. Isa lang sagot ko, dapat isa lang yun. Tsaka marami yan mga bebe. Marami yan mga idol. Oo, mga beta lang yung actresses yung mga bebe. Anyway, congrats to the movie at sana makarating kayo. Hindi lang sa Netflix. Thank you very much. Salamat. There you have it. That's where you can ask you some people's journal. Up next, we have Jojo Panaligan of Ryder Cage. A uh, question ko lang kay Direk uh, Philip. Were you adamant in keeping this uh, inspirational movie instead of uh, kung kaya ang mga kinuha ng actors ay malamang hindi nga maling romantically uh, to each other? Uh, or natin ka ba to go a little wrong from seeing their chemistry? Actually, so yung, yung sa previous discussion na natin, uh, yung undertone talaga niya, yung inspirational, yung sipag lang ng mga manggagawa. Tapos may love kasi it's, it's the conflict. Tapos kaya siya funny, I guess, it's because they're natural banter. Yung si Paolo pagka-deadpan niya, tapos yung Kylie magpatungin lang. So parang it works for, for yung situation nila na parang na-force sila to work together. Because eventually they get to know each other and each other more. So, parang nagwork as the, as they we ran along with the story. Yung romance or actually hindi nga siya ro more mature kind of romance kasi siya. So hindi siya yung kilig na teenager. -y. Yung mas mature siya. Kasi the characters themselves are of this certain age and have different concerns that just kissing someone or holding each other's hands. So, parang, in that sense, super na pull off talaga ni Pao and Kaili yung maturity na sa pinag for this kind of romance. Si kanina napansin ko, Paolo was, uh, I don't know if it was just me na parang he really wanted to point out it's more of an inspirational movie than a rom-com. Kasi diba dito sa atin, they expect pag uh, ganito, may lead, pag may leading lady, may leading man, automatically may uh, romantic undertone. Pero, uh, ikaw ba, Pao, do you think um, the audience has involved, Filipino audience in particular, na hindi na ganun lagi ang hinahanap nila? And you want to cater to that taste now? Ang kaya nila. Um, well, alam naman po natin yung, uh, yung magic talaga na kilig pagdating sa cinema natin. Parang, uh, or heavy drama or uh, a romantic drama, but uh, I always have high hopes for for our moviegoers and our our, our industry. Na parang parang ganito, parang ng ibang topics or lumalayo ng konte. Di naman kaya hindi naman totally, pero lumalayo ng konte sa sa biggest formula na meron tayo dito sa sa Pilipinas, but. Um, I'm just happy. I'm, 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 happy, I'm happy that um, people are willing to risk their, their time, their effort, and money to come up with a film like this that not only speaks about uh, love and inspiration, but also, but also um, maybe it's just love and inspiration. <laughs> So, din ba, Kylie, do you uh, hope na someday din dumating yung point na uh, mahihiwalay na ng audience yung work sa private lives ng actor? Like, ako, I've attended a uh, uh, jacket sa broad. Pag nagsisimula ng magtanong about that, they really shut it down. No, you can't ask that. Let's move on to the next question. But here, somehow, uh, may, may ganun pa din. Ano? I agree ko. Kung anong nakikita nila sa screen, kala nila na ikaw na yon in person. And I hope, I hope in the future they will be able to realize, but... Siguro, wish ko na lang yun. Pero it's not something I would think about as a person and as an actor. Gagawin ko na lang yung trabaho ko, or gagawin ko na lang yung kailangan ko para... para dahil, dahil yun yung trabaho ko, or dahil yun yung gusto ko. And bahala na lang what people think because I can't, I can't, I can't change what they think. But I will promise you, I will do the best job that I can. So, hindi yung naging book uh, like sabi ka nila ni Paolo up to now, madami pa din siyang bagay sa industry na nakukulture siya. siya. Ito ba hindi yung naging parang culture siya sa'yo na? Uh, they, they really 
what to read or see the link between personal and the work. It's it's still, <laughs> siguro, es especially for me, na I want to keep things private. It is, it is still hard, but I understand it's part of the industry. But as much as possible, I do want to keep things for myself. Thank you. Thank you. That was Jojo Pandalika of Rider Page, and that concludes our Q and A this time. Please say a few words for all our viewers on Facebook, and you can promote as well your movie Elevator. Let's start with Paulo. Hello to everyone uh, watching live on Facebook. Uh, thank you so much for giving your time um, to watch uh, this is, uh, live, this Facebook live uh, promotion of our film. Uh, I just want to say that I hope you will watch the Elevator on April 24. And uh, if you have thoughts on it or if you're experience, experiencing the same the same thing, I know that I'm sure impossible na walang isa sa atin ang ang walang kamag-anak abroad. Uh, or 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 kaibigan and I'm sure in some way or another na experience rin nila yung mapapanood ninyo uh, so thank you, thank you I hope you can help us spread the word and uh, thank you in advance and also thank you thank you po pala sa lahat, lahat everyone who attended today, maraming salamat uh, alam ko pa ulit-ulit sinasabi ko tuwing May mga, may mga ganitong mga, mga media junkets. But um, I just want to say I'm very grateful for each and every one of you dahil um, kayo yung isa sa mga rason kung bakit nag-hit or nag-hit ang isang show or delete Thank you. Um, thank you so much to everyone that's here. Thank you so much for your time, for your efforts. Um, we hope you can support our film the best way you can. Sabi ni Paolo, you guys have the power and the chance to influence. And we hope for what we said today, sana uh, may inspire kayo. And I hope you help promote this wonderful film that talks about OFW workers, the, their plight, their struggles. Um, questions about mature love, kung bibiliin ko ba ang love, or kung bibiliin ko ba yung success. Um, it, it's a very relatable story na makakalate kayo. And I really, I really hope that you guys watch it. Um, it's hard work from not only us here, but with Derek Lino Cayetano, Shubo Cryo, our producers over there, Viva Entertainment, Rain Entertainment, uh, Cinecop Productions, Viva, Viva, Viva Films, Viva Films. Boss Vincent, Boss Will. Of Boss course, Will. to uh, my wonderful manager, Boss, uh, Boss Vic. And WASD, Paolo Aguilina. And uh, Paolo's management, thank you so much for uh, allowing me. But um, um, just to go back, uh, thank you so much. It's a wonderful film. I hope you guys can help us promote it. And I hope you guys Watch it and you enjoy it. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, guys. So, April 24, hopefully you support uh, Elevator. And from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to thank Paolo and Kylie for trusting me on this ride. My Rain family, Viva, Cineco, Paolo's AWSD, and Dogma Films of Singapore for all the support to pull this off. Uh, you said it earlier. Ano yung pitch for them? We so prang galing ani Kylie and Paula dito. So hopefully you enjoy and I get the chance to watch it and be inspired by Elevator on April 24. Thank you. There you have it. And now let's give a big hand to Elevator. Congratulations. Let's have your last photo op before you wrap up. Let's give a big hand to Elevator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you post it on your socials, please do tag us at Viva Films and on X and Instagram at Viva underscore Films. Please use our official hashtags, hashtag Elevator and hashtag Elevator Media Con. For updates on Elevator, like and follow Viva Films official social media accounts. Facebook.